これでなくなった I really was not joking when I said, I feel like I can run forever here. Or maybe this is, maybe I'm just experiencing runner's high for the first time. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. My name is Misako and Bella, and thank you so much for pressing play on today's video. I hope you enjoyed those clips of me running in Yoyogi Park. It's truly one of my favorite places in the city so far. If you are a runner specifically, I highly, highly, highly recommend taking a run through there. Your girl is in the mood to learn today. Honestly, I'm always in the mood to learn something new, but I went to a new museum this past weekend and it reminded me how much I enjoy being in that environment. And to be honest, learning in general is just a way more enjoyable experience for me now that I've been so intentional about improving my focus issues because now I feel like I can actually retain the information. So today I'm gonna to take myself on another adult field trip to the National Museum of Science and Nature here in Tokyo. It looks beautiful, it's in Oeno Park, which is a beautiful, another beautiful park in the city. It's massive, there's so many things in that park. Um, and then I have two tutoring sessions with two separate tutors. They're Japanese language tutors, and I found them on Fiverr, the sponsors of today's video. I actually worked with a contractor on Fiverr to decide what visa option would be the best for me. I'll link that video up above, but today I'm using Fiverr to connect with new Japanese language teachers. Right now, I really wanna prioritize getting out into the city during the day, exploring, creating videos for you all, and so having private Japanese lessons through Fiverr works best for me. I still want to keep up with my Japanese studies while I'm in between my intensive and my long-term program, and I found that there were so many wonderful and affordable options for me on Fiverr. So later today, I have two separate sessions booked with Kanako and Rika Sensei. I know based on your comments and your messages that there are a lot of you who watch my channel who also want to start over, move abroad, move to a new city, and I'm confident that there is someone on Fiverr that can help you today with this transition. Whether it's hiring someone to talk through your visa options or hiring a language tutor so that you can start learning the language of the country you want to move to today, there are so many people that can and want to help you on this platform. And this is specifically for folks who want to enroll in a long-term Japanese program like me. I don't know if you've started your research yet. If you haven't, I want you to know that you need to have 150 hours of Japanese language studies by the time you apply. So I recommend you start accumulating some of these hours with a language tutor on Fiverr. If you wanna book time with my tutors or find your own, I'll leave a link down below and please don't forget to use my code for a little discount. And thank you to the wonderful team at Fiverr for sponsoring today's video. Now I'm gonna get changed and head off to the museum. really lovely and I highly recommend 
giving this museum a visit if you want to take your inner child on a date. There's a global gallery and the Japan exhibition. It's also in Ueno Park, so I highly recommend coming over to this side of Tokyo when you visit anyway. The park is beautiful. I don't have time to walk through it today because I need to get back for my first tutoring session, but I'm really happy that I visited this. To be honest, I was like not in the best mood when I arrived, but it really lifted my spirits. I feel everything, everywhere, all at once. And <laughs> it's just a lot sometimes. And another thing about me is I can't hide how I'm feeling. Like if something bothers me, you will know. Where's the course on that? Someone send me the link <laughs> to a course where I can learn how to hide my emotions a little better. And I don't know, as I've gotten older and gone deeper into my healing journey, there's no part of me that can mask the way I feel in the way that I used to. This is very cryptic, I know. <laughs> I know, but just know I'm feeling better now. Someone please explain to me what just happened. I took the same train back, but the line I take home wasn't in that station. And I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> and now I'm just confused. Where is it? Okay, I found it, but I had to leave the station to cross the street to get onto the, to the line, but I didn't have to do that when I transferred last time. I'm so confused, but I found it. It turns out that it's not a glitch in the matrix. I just got off the wrong station, but honestly, are we even surprised? When you, whenever you learn new verbs, you can always talk about past or future now. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mas masen, masda masen deshita. So, for example, let's practice with benkyou shimas. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't study. We say benkyou shimasen. Okay. I studied past tense. Benkyou shimashita. Okay. And then I didn't study. Benkyou shimasen deshita. Nice. It's good. So that's how we say. Yo, ji, ni. Ni? Mm -hmm. Okimash. Oki. Da. Okimashita. Yeah, it's good. Perfect. Okay. Kesa yoji ni okimashita. Kesa yoji ni okimashita. Okay. This morning, 4 o'clock at woke up. Okay. In Japanese. It's a bit weird, but we say like this way in Japanese. Okay, okay. perfect. Kara made. That's how we say from to in Japanese. From to. Today, uh, I study from 4 to 5. Kyo. Mm -hmm. uh, yoji kara. Yoji kara goji made benkyou shimasu. Mm, nice, it's good. Kyo yoji kara goji made benkyou shimasu. Kyo yoji kara goji made benkyou shimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Ja, mata. Ja, mata. When she was wonderful, we talked about like the Japanese sentence structure, which I didn't, we didn't do much of in the intensive course, so it was nice to like get an explanation behind why certain sentences are structured the way they are. We talked about present tense and future, past tense, and the negative um, present and past. I also got pretty used to the style of teaching at the, or in the intensive program, which I really loved, but it was nice to experience learning the language in a different way from a new teacher.
。ひらがな。はい。わかりますか。はい、ああ、わかりました。わかります。わかりました。わかります。<笑>ひらがな。はい。オッケーで。<笑>ああいいですね。Very good. お会いできて嬉しいです。It's, it's what I just said. I will、okay. uh, put、okay. it here in the meeting chat. Okay. It just, I'm a little slow, but. How about this country? It's like, isn't it? Oh,、um, that one is.、Uh, ko... Uh, yes, go.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Baby. So, then, this is a child. Ah, child. child.、Mm-hmm. And I have this c o m Ah, nice. So, then, this is a very nice. So, this is a girl's name. It's a, it's、ah. a girl's、uh, woman's name. Very good. And also, Japan. Has this country. Ah, yes. Nihon. Yeah. My class with Rika Sensei was great. She was so encouraging and smiley and giggly. That's like one of my favorite things about Japanese people how smiley and giggly they are. That might be the most Japanese thing about me. <laughs> I will definitely be booking sessions with both of them again, and you can too by using the links down below. I've been thinking a lot lately about my message and what I want you all to take away. From my channel, like one core message. And I don't think I have it just yet, but one thing I know for sure is that I hope that I just inspire you to go for it and that I remind you that it's never too late to learn and to just follow your joy. And I really do believe through the experiences that I've had that. Our ancestors get to experience joy through us. So, by you choosing to take that dance class for the first time, to sign up for the Japanese language class, whatever it is, like you're letting, you're allowing the people who came before you to experience that for the first time too. So, that is what I will leave you with today. I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day. Wherever you are in the world, thank you so much for showing up for me. Thank you so much for being patient with me. And as always, thank you for being here.